Hey, I want to show you how I created this cow stealing animation. At first I need to prepare an illustration before I could import it into After Effects. I group the layers in parts for further animation and save it as an AI file. Ok, done! So, when the file is ready, I drag it to After Effects, doing nothing inside the dialog window that opens and click OK. Now all the layers need to be converted to shape. To take this action, I usually use the Motion Tool plugin, so as this way I don't have to delete the duplicates later. You can right-click on the layers and press Convert to Shape. I assign colors to shape layers, so it would be easier to recognize them. Now it's time to connect the layers. I link all the parts of the cow to its body. Then I link the ray to the flying saucer. I also use Motion Tool plugin to make the arrangement of anchor points quick and easy. You can do it by hand as well by using pen behind. Then animate the arrival. I want it to appear from the right corner, fly to the cow and stop over it. Now I set up easing. To emphasize the effect, I add rotation and scale. And of course I apply bounce expression. with the ray appearance on the timeline till the moment the saucer stops. Then I change our inline modes so that we uh, could see the cow behind the ray. I animate the appearance of the light by using pad. Afterwards, I add wave bob to it. Next, I work on the banishing of flying saucer and clear up the movement. Looks good. Then animate the cow itself. When the flying saucer arrives and the light starts, the cow takes all the land hanging in the air. To make it happen, I add animation to position and rotation. To make the cow landing more spectacular, I also animate the rebound by changing the scale. I think it would look better if I apply the wave pop effect to the cow's legs. Firstly, I extract the hoops from the layers containing legs, add the effect on one of them, then tune and apply it to the others by copying. Add rotation.
Okay, I suddenly remember that cows have another. One moment. Okay. I use a wave warp and rotation to edit the tail in the moment of landing. Then I animate the ears. Ok, let's go to the eyes. I increase the cow size during the levitation part on the timeline. And I add animation to the position of the head. All that remains is to add the eye blinking at the beginning and ear shaking at the end. I think it looks good. I create a new composition and put a texture file here. Next, I change position and rotation using toggle hold keyframes. Ok, now it's time to put on an experiment. I apply the texture on the cow composition and set the transparency. To complete the composition with noise effect, I create an adjustment layer and apply the wave warp effect to it. Done! Look! So, as you can see, this animation is very easy to do. I only use animation of position, rotation and scale, and also the standard wave warp effect. To repeat this animation, use the attached Adobe Illustrator file that I've specially prepared. Subscribe and like if it was interesting. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Thanks.